The following podcast is a deep, shallow dive production. Okay, let's go. Hey, everybody. Happy Thursday. Episode 101. <laughs> After my epic failure of a hundredth episode. No, actually, you know what? I reflected. I reflected on that conversation yesterday in that episode, and I realized, you know, hey, it is what it is. You know, it is what it is. It just didn't turn out the way I thought it was going to, and that's cool. And that builds resilience, a deep, shallow dive pillar. I seriously need to start kind of focusing on these pillars more and Reading a little more about the book, maybe here and there. I know I started out reading a little bit, but I will uh, continue to do that because I think that is going to be cool. But anyway, episode 101, I actually really enjoyed yesterday and I got a lot of nice comments from people and they're like, dude, don't, why are you beating yourself up over it? This is awesome. And you know, at the end of the day, the real talk stuff, I mean, that's what this thing is all about more than anything. You know, building just a little bit on yesterday and then I'll move on. You know, again, it's like when I get behind this microphone, sometimes I feel this urge of like, you know, delivering value to you guys, you know, it, that's really what it is. It's like, okay, nobody wants to just hear me ramble on. And I hate listening to these podcasts where they just ramble on. But you know what's crazy? Those are like some of the most popular podcasts. It's like you you listen and you sit and listen to like one dude or two dudes or four dudes just like shoot the shit. I don't know. I'm not really into that. And that's not really how I want to spend my time. And quite frankly, that's not how I want to add value to your lives. I really do want to deliver value to you and deliver information and deliver knowledge and deliver perspectives. So I think a lot of times that causes me to like I don't know, be a little bit rushed sometimes. And then also like I said, you know, try and not interject as much personal because I feel like, okay, they're here to learn something. And so I'm going to, so I'm going to try and, you know, impart what, what I found from my research, which by the way, I am going to stick to that. But like I did yesterday, you know, at the end of the day, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna try and just be authentic about everything. So Anyway, there's all that. All right, so today I'm actually adding a new segment to the podcast, and that is a monthly recap. Basically, we've gotten through the month of January. Today is February 1st, and so I thought it would make sense to just do an episode that really kind of talks about all the episodes from January. That way, in case you missed anything and it piques your interest, then you can actually go and listen to it. So let's get started. So episode number 83, which was on New Year's Day, that was just basically a trailer and it gave you a glimpse into season two and we are in season two and that's only four minutes long. So if you want to get a little overview on what the rest of the year is going to look like, you can go to episode 83. Episode number 84 was really embracing change, and it talked about how 2024 is going to kind of be a journey to our authenticity and our continued awakening. I talked a lot about health in this issue and tracking your life, and so episode 84 is actually a good one to set the stage for the balance of the year. Episode number 85 actually was one of the most listened to, which was surprising to me, but it talked all about the Harvard resignation of Claudine Gay, and then it really got into Jeffrey Epstein and his associates, and then touched on some of the international conflicts that are going on, obviously Israel and Hamas being the biggest, but also China. Yeah, I don't know why that episode got a lot of, a, a lot of listens, so that's episode 85. All right, episode number 86 was a deep, shallow dive exclusive, and it really delved into the, the border crisis, the United States southern border crisis. So that's very interesting because that's obviously an ongoing issue. All right, episode number 87, we talked about the Cat Williams. The episode was called The Motley Crew, and this is definitely a Motley Crew right here. We talked about Cat Williams and his interview on the Shannon Sharp Show, which I think is over like 40, maybe 50 million views right now. And then we talked about the emergence of Yahya Sinwar as like a focal point for Hamas. And then we also talked about Chris Tucker and TikTok. Episode number 88, this one really, I played a, I played some of the top 
viewed or top, yeah, top viewed clips from the deep shallow dive social media pages, which at the time it was coming in around 3.5 million views for all of those clips that I played or for those few clips that I played. And now we're actually God, getting close to 10 million views on that. So anyway, if you want to hear some of the most popular clips, episode number 88 is good for that. Episode number 89 was a little bit of a compliment to the Southern border crisis, but it talked about fentanyl, the silent assassin. So if you want to learn a little bit about really just what fentanyl is and how it's affecting life in the United States, episode 89 is a good one for there. Episode number 90 was basically broken into various battles that are going on. The first one being Nikki Haley versus Ron DeSantis from that debate. Then it was the United Nations and the ICJ, the International Court of Justice. So that one touched on the genocide case between South Africa and Israel. And then Jimmy Kimmel versus Aaron Rodgers. So it talked about that little battle between those guys. So episode number 90 was sort of a a battle of wills, so to speak. Okay. Episode number 91. This was actually really, I I really liked this one. And it talked about breaking dogma, rethinking everything and independent thought. And if anything, this is, you know, really a, a nice showcase of what we're trying to get accomplished this season. So episode 91 was about breaking dogma. Episode 92 was a little bit of a follow-up, and here I really touched on these four pillars of Deep Shallow Dive that I'm trying to, you know, basically adhere to myself on a personal level, but then also advocate through, through, you know, through the podcast and then through the book. These pillars are really pillars that run throughout the entire book, and they really just get you, get you grounded and get you focused self-awareness, resilience, authenticity, and empathy. I'll say them again, self-awareness, resilience, authenticity, and empathy. So those are four of the pillars of Deep Shallow Dive that, again, I try to adhere to uh, in my personal life as well as on the podcast. Okay, episode 93, this was another actually DSD Health episode, and I've rebranded those as DSD Health, but this focused on walking. It focused on the hidden secret in health and fat loss, and that is walking, and I feel incredibly adamant about that. I truly think you should absolutely try to get 10,000 steps in a day, track your steps. Believe it or not, I finally caved in and got myself an Apple Watch, so now I am the the moron. I was going to call myself a retard. Man, I know you can't really say the word retard, but I think you can say it if you're referring to yourself. Yes. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. So now I'm the retard with the Apple watch on my left wrist and Fitbit on my right wrist. I'm not even kidding. I wear both and I'm actually going to do an analysis on the accuracy or the differences in step count between the two here in an upcoming episode, but I want to get some more data. Okay, episode number 94, we talked about the World Economic Forum, the WEF that took place in Davos, and whether that was good or evil. Now, I will say I did a very unbiased take on that, and then in future episodes, other things came out from the WEF that required a little bias, and so we had to pivot. So that's episode 94. Episode 95, this talked about Ron DeSantis dropping out of the Republican race, which I predicted, and then it also got into the protests that are taking place in Germany, which I wanted to put on your radar, and then, you know, an interesting an interesting summary of the year to date from Andrew Tate. You know, I don't really listen to that guy very much, but like I said, with everything, judge the take, and he gave a decent take on that, so, so I played it for you. Okay, episode number 96, this was really about the concept of black swans and the potential of some type of big event coming. It also helped understand the difference between primaries and caucuses as we're getting into that on the Republican and Democrat side. And, you know, this one again, several, several good sound bites from different people that I think, I think really, you know, help position us for, there's something coming, man. There is, there is. And remember, March 2020 was when COVID happened. So we are now in February. So I could see things 
getting a little weird over this next month, but then heading into March and April, something's coming. Episode number 97 one of my heartfelt episodes. It was in honor of my friend Jackson Rom. I love Jackson to death, miss him daily. And so episode number 97 was in honor of him. And then it ended with playing his rendition of Concrete Blonde's Joey, which sorry if that recording didn't sound great. I couldn't rip it off of uh, any, any resource. I'll see if I can get a better copy actually and replace that. Because, man, he crushes it on that song. I love it. I love it. I blast that thing and listen to it. If you do like the way it sounds at the end of the episode, you can find that track on Spotify or probably anywhere. Just look up Jackson Rom, and the song is called Joey. Okay, episode 98. This was talking about the World Economic Forum again. This is where they started just saying stupid stuff, and so I've got to call them out on it. Robert F. Kennedy Jr. gives a great, great dialogue on this. And it also talked about Trump, Netanyahu, George W. Bush, and more. So that was actually a really good one. Episode 98 was was one of my favorite that I've recorded in a while. And it actually had a lot of funny stuff in it. What does that mean? Shut up. You know what that means. That means I made fun of you in that episode a lot. All right. Episode 99 was... Tucker Carlson, Lindsey Graham, Nancy Pelosi, Kiefer Sutherland, and the show Designated Survivor on Netflix, which, by the way, I'm going to come back to that, man, because that thing was in 2006. It started filming season one in 2006, and it is pretty eerie, the things that they talk about and that are coming true. The first one that I mentioned in episode 99 was the fact that in, in the show... They, Kiefer Sutherland as president, I'm not going to ruin the show. I'm just going to tell you this. He basically wanted to federalize the National Guard of Michigan in order to go against the governor who was basically not, not obeying Kiefer Sutherland as president's commands. And then the National Guard in Michigan refused to do it. And so right now we have a situation on the border crisis in the United States where Basically, Democrats are telling President Biden to federalize the National Guard in Texas. And so the Texas National Guard is standing firmly behind Governor Abbott of Texas. And so that scenario is very similar to what is on Designated Survivor Show Season 1 on Netflix. And really, it, it, it kind of leads to the concept of civil war. And it kind of leads to the concept of if there is a state uprising against the federal government, Texas probably being the state that would do it because they're, you know, the biggest state and kind of one of the most powerful. So I don't know, man, that's a little predictive programming from 2016 that seems to be playing out a little bit now. I will say it's not like... Biden has tried to federalize the National Guard in Texas yet, but I'm going to keep an eye on it. And last but not least was yesterday's episode, episode number 100, entitled, My Epic Fail, Wow, I Suck. I was being I was being a little dramatic. I was trying to see if I put a little drama into the title. Will it get more clicks on YouTube and other places? But anyway... That episode yesterday really was my 100th episode. And, you know, like I said yesterday, it just, it just wasn't what I envisioned it to be, but you know what? That's okay because I'm going to build resilience from that and I'm going to come back stronger and it's motivating me to finally get my video figured out. Although I have created some 60 to 90 second short clips that you can see on the Deep Shallow Dive YouTube page. You can also see it on the Deep Shallow Dive Instagram page, actually everywhere, as well as TikTok. But you know, I do want to create some longer form video, and then I am pretty close to getting my system set up to start bringing on guests. So hopefully soon I will bring on guests and do interviews and all that stuff and get some other get some other opinions or get some really interesting folks on here and have some good conversation. So anyway, this is a new segment. 
This is going to be the monthly recap. I'm going to do this at the beginning of every month and recap the previous month because I think it's interesting to hear what we talked about and refresh your memory. And like I said, repetition is the mother of all learning. I really do believe that. And then secondly, in case you missed something from the previous month, this episode will give you an overview and you can go back and listen. All right, everybody. Call a spade a spade. I will not be putting an episode out tomorrow on Friday, so I will catch you guys on Monday of next week. I am going to work on all this filming stuff over the next three days, and we will talk to you soon. All right, have a great weekend. Call a spade a spade. This episode was brought to you by Boost Liquid Vitamins. Wake up, take your boost, start your day. Drink your vitamins, build your immune system with Boost. Available on Boost.com.